I will probably for the rest of my life be talking about the need for cameras in the courtroom for every trial we have. The Supreme Court took up the question of whether it was automatically damaging to the defendant to have cameras in the courtroom, and the, and the court decided that it was not. And in fact, one of the justices said that he thought that that added to the defendant's fair trial in that uh, it made what happened in courtroom more accessible, people later on looking at it. And have that trial on a DVD that you could get at the clerk's office for five bucks instead of having to pay a thousand dollars for a two thousand page transcript to go through. We're talking about gavel to gavel, so to speak, coverage, full and complete coverage of the trial and made available to the public. That is no different than it is now except that it's on paper. So I that might have a change. The idea of a public trial where we all get in and gather around or even an Atticus Finch trial where we're up in the gallery watching. No, no, that just doesn't happen. One of the things that that it really is based in the Constitution is is our judiciary has to be open, our judiciary has to be observable by the public in order to be sure that it remains fair. More than any other branch of government, the judiciary can take away your liberty. They can say you have to go to jail for the rest of your life. And I think probably, you know, there's no reason to have a camera in the courtroom when you're arguing divorce or custody. It's going to benefit from that. Um, I think probably a judge would consider trials either of high public interest, or more importantly, a trial in which a person is going to lose his liberty. And uh, when, when we're talking about locking people up, then that becomes of the highest importance. A small group of us in Little Rock has been working on the Arkansas Supreme Court for the past three or four years saying, we need cameras in every police interrogation room. Every time anybody is brought in for a questioning by police, there needs to be a camera in there. I've always been a proponent for recording interviews whenever possible. All of our interrogations uh, were conducted here or in Washington County are recorded. Uh, we have two rooms that are set up for automatic video and audio. Uh, they record to a hard drive that we can dub off if we have to. I think it's very vital. I mean, it, it takes the doubt out of anybody's mind when you can see what I saw when I was interviewing somebody, you can hear what I heard. It's not just me going in and testifying saying that you made this statement. It's the statement in your own words, in your own person. After a lot of effort, because none of that is required right now, or was, until last July when the Arkansas Supreme Court issued a rule that said that they want electronic recording. They did not say specify videotape but they want electronic recording wherever possible from police.